welcome to the letter P. What begins with the letter P? P, -p, 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 -p. Pig. Come along, take a trip with me. I wonder what oh, we will see. Animals and mammals and insects too. And some even look like you. Welcome everyone, nice to see you. All right, welcome to the letter P. Let's go through our alphabet. Here we go, ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 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 P. Let's take a look at all the things that begin with the letter P. First, we have a P, P, pencil. A pencil. And of course we have our very interesting and our animal for today. It's a pig. And over here, all the P words, we have a p -p 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 penguin. And we have a, of course, a pencil. What do you do with a pencil? You you write. You write your name or you write your ABCs or you p -p -p practice the letter P. P is also for pizza. Oh, I love pizza. You know where, where the best pizza in the world is? In Nova Scotia. Shout out to the East Coast, baby. <laughs> I miss pizza. <laughs> and P is also for persimmons. Persimmon. Yeah, in Japan, a lot of p -p people eat persimmons. Yeah, I personally don't like persimmons. I'm not a persimmon kind of person. But some people like persimmons, and that's pretty good if you like persimmons, but I don't like p persimmons, all right? And P is also for pull or even push, right? That's all the, oh, there's a lot of things that begin with the letter P. And today we're gonna color a, right, a penguin. So how about you get your coloring books and crayons and meet me back here and let's start coloring. Ready? I'm back with the letter P. And we're gonna color a penguin. So today we're gonna to color a penguin. What color is a penguin? Well, penguins are usually black and white. And sometimes they have a little bit of orange or yellow, but we can change it up and we can make ours kind of a funny penguin if you want. No? Okay. Uh, well, let's just color our penguin traditional colors. But if I make a mistake, please forgive me. That's a, another good P word. My mother always said, say your P's and Q's, which is please, right? So it's always good to say please and thank you when someone does something for you, or you want someone to do something for you, or you're helping, or you're being helped, please is a magic word, all right? So let's color our penguin. Let's start off with its feet. Let's color his feet orange, all right? Let's color his feet orange, orange, orange. One foot, let me color the other one. All right, he has, or could be she, I don't know. It has orange feet. All right, let's, all color, let's color his, uh, his, it looks like a nose and a mouth together. We call that a beak. It's called a b, b, beak. Beak begins with the letter B, not P. All right, so let's color his beak yellow. All right, let's take a look. Let's color his beak yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. There you go. All right. Over here it's black, but I don't know. 
we can change it. It's all right, you can color any color. If you wanna change your colors, you can do whatever you want. I'm just doing this, okay, to help you, all right? Do you know the word for penguin in Japanese? It's quite similar to English. In English, we say penguin. In Japanese, they say penguin, penguin, yeah. And also for pig, it's not the same as English, but they say buta, buta. Buta is, is a pig in Japanese. All right, so let's go back to our penguin, and we're gonna color our penguin, our traditional color, black, all right? Because black is, a, is good. Have you ever seen a penguin, a real live penguin? I have, yeah, at the zoo. I think it was at the zoo or the aquarium, I think I saw, at the aquarium I saw, yeah. But I would really like to go to like Alaska or some cold place where penguins live. That would be even cooler. Cause I really, actually, I really don't like going to aquariums and zoos. I think it's kind of sad. Poor little guys, all stuck up there in the cage. I think it's important to treat our animals and our mammals and our insects. I think it's important to treat them well because they help our environment. They help our the, the world around us. All right. Okay. Now the penguin here has a white stomach or white belly so here it's kind of white or yellowish if you want we can change it or did you know what, it, what there's a color there's actually there's two colors that start with the letter p so there's pink and purple so we can color one of those if you want i'm going to do purple i'm going to make it a purple belly And you can even mix. You can do purple and pink together. Maybe I'll do that too. I'll take my pink. I'm going to mix it. Make it look nice. Look at that. That looks really nice. Oh, that's a nice looking penguin. All right. Well, you did a good job today. Let's take a look again at our thing, at the things that begin with the letter P. P is for p -p penguin. We call it a penguin. P is also for Pencil, you write your ABCs with your, P, with, your, with your pencil. P is also for pull or even push. P is also for persimmon, persimmon. And P is also for pizza. Oh, I love myself some Nova Scotia pizza. I wish I had pizza. Oh, Nova Scotia pizza. <sighs> P is also for pig, pig. Pig. And P is also for pink. A pink pig. Can you say that five times fast? Pink pig. Pink pig. Pink pig. Pink pig. Pink pig. Now can you say it faster? Pink pig. Pink pig. Pink pig. Pink pig. Pink pig. Well, that's even difficult for me, but you try it at home. Okay? All right? And I'll see you again next time for the letter. What comes after P? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Q begin. Q comes after P. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll see you next time for the letter Q. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.